My name is Joe Zander. I uh, made Aliyah 11 years ago from America. And uh, my love for chocolate is both old and new. I started off working at my grandfather's bakery. Um, we have, in my family, we have three generations of bakers. I live here in Mali Khaber. This area, is, this is Beit Lechem. I mean, this is, this is where the wheat, this bread and wine, it's all from this area. Olives, it's, it's all things that take a lot of work to turn this thing that's kind of bitter into something that's palatable. Chocolate's kind of similar, you know, it's something starting with a very bitter seed and, and trying to make it sweet. I think that's our job, making the world a little bit sweeter. That's, that, that, that's what, the, what I think that God gave to us is what we're trying to give to the whole world is, you know, you can look around and everything can be really dark and bitter and, and, and not so great, but, you know, we are, we're always looking for that little bit of good because we know that little bit of good, that's all we really need. If you could, if you could hold on to a little bit of good, it's really all good. Not many companies want to come out here. Uh, every time we have a shipment, it's always a, a very difficult thing to, to convince someone to deliver it to this area. Lev Alam contacted us uh, a couple of years ago. They told us they wanted to put our chocolates in their baskets. And the part that's been really great for us is that people in America have b become aware of our chocolate. And uh, we've had, we actually have had organized tours that uh, they've made the request from America that they want to come visit the factory. And I always ask them, you know, how is it they even know about our chocolates? Oh, we get it in the gift basket every month from Levo Alam. So I, I definitely appreciate the, uh, just the, the first ones really to, to bring us into America. And I think to get us into the, into the community that, that wants to, wants to both support um, Israeli companies, uh, Israeli artisans, but people who are, who are living in Israel and trying to, to make their, their business in Israel. Uh, it's a beautiful thing.